Hello YouTube! Welcome to part 5 of the series of scripting tutorials for GameMaker. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to be able to make a leveling up formula, an enemy spawn rate, a currency, and we're going to get items ready for the inventory for the next tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up whatever you have your stats variables in. For example, mine is the HUD. So open it up. See, XP right here is what we're needing. Wherever your experience variable is at, that's what you need to open. Now, go to the step event. Go open up its codes and type if XP or XP is larger than or equal to XPTO XP minus equals XPTO and level plus equals one. What this is saying is if your experience is higher higher than or equal to the maximum amount of experience, then it will decrease decrease the experience by a certain amount or by the maximum experience and increase your level by one. Let's go and test that out with one of the enemies real fast. I'm going to uh, erase a few of them. I know this last time they sort of killed me. Go ahead and erase them. Erase them. And so on. Oops. Okay. Now let's go and just make them give me a little more experience. Let's say 150 experience. Go ahead and test the game out. And now you should level up. But you can't really. There's another real special thing leveling up. Now as you can see, I leveled up. And yep, there we go. Already level 7. Wow. Now let's try to make it where it'll increase your maximum health when you level up. So that's not really that hard to do. Go go back to wherever you're, you've got put your leveling up formula. And type in HP plus equals, let's say, 50. And HPTO plus equals 50. Let's go and test it out. Make sure it works. And now, yep, there we go. Our L health has now leveled up. Now, oh wait, also, now gotta make it where you have to have more experience when you level up. To get, uh, to get a level up. So let's say XPTO equals XPTO times, let's say, 1.1. Let's go ahead and round this so it will come to a good number. That way it doesn't go, uh, go into decimal. That way it won't have a decimal. That's why I have to round it. If you do it like this without rounding, you'll have a decimal inside your experience. So now that we have the experience formula out of the way, let's go and start making the enemy spawn rate. Okay, go to the enemy and type in, or go to the create event of the enemy, open up its code, and type in spawn underscore rate equals, let's say, 120. This is 30, 60. It'd be four seconds, roughly. Now, Okay. All right, where is it at? If HP is smaller than or equal to zero, wherever you wherever you put the enemy death script, open it up. Mine, for example, is in the step event. Go below the if HP is smaller than or equal to zero, and type in x equals minus one hundred, y equals minus one hundred, or minus one hundred thousand. I mean. Also, some else too. Go to the create event, uh, copy all this, then add event, other, user defined, user zero. Then take an add some code into that, and paste all of your create event codes inside here. Now go to the create event, and type in event underscore user zero. That way we'll be able to use this again, which so we'll be able to respawn the enemy. Just, all I have to do is type in event user zero and it'll happen. Everything in here will happen again. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, if HP is smaller than or equal to zero, and also can underscore die equals true. Also add that variable into the uh, to the event uh, user defined zero event. Go back to your death script. If can die equals true then all this will happen. I'm going to just make it a little bit cleaner. Okay, now, actually we don't want to destroy it, so just get rid of the instance destroy code and type in alarm one, one equals, oh crap, one. 
equals spawn until rate or whatever your spawn rate variable is. Mine was spawn rate, of course. Anyways, alarm zero equals spawn rate. Or alarm one, not zero, one equals spawn rate. Add event, alarm one. Add some code into alarm one event. Type in event under user zero. Just like we've done in the create event for event user zero, so we'll pretty much recreate everything. And then where it says uh, back, back to the script one more time. Or actually, no. Go to alarm one, open up its code, and type in x equals x start and y equals y start. Test the game. Make sure it works. Now the enemies should respawn. Oh, spawn right. Let me fix that real fast. Alarm 1 equals spawn rate. There we go. Spawn rate. And there we go. Problem fixed. Testing it out. Now, as you can see, they will actually respawn. Oh, crap. Also, if can die equals true. After you type in can die equals true, below that, type in can die equals false. So that way this will only happen once. Then whenever alarm zero happens, it'll activate the event, giving it back to setting it back to true again. And now as you can see. Yep, there we go. Now they respawn. As easy as that. Really really simple coding. Yeah, it's really, really simple way of doing this. Um now we want to make a currency. Well, what is currency? Currency is in-game cash. So let's go ahead and go back to the wherever you have your variables at. Let's make a new variable inside the create event. Call this cash equals, let's say, zero. This is your starting amount of cash, so yeah. Now, go to the draw event. Let's just copy and paste the level code. I don't feel like uh, typing this again. It's going to have plus 32. Type in plus 48. And type in cash for the text and then uh, where's the string level type in cash or whatever your money variable is okay, let's go and test it out make sure it draws the text on the uh, text correctly there we go cash to zero now that's where we're at setting up the currency another tutorial we're going uh, I'll teach you how to be able to make shops probably after I uh, teach the inventory but now we're going to get let's go and get the items ready for the inventory for the next tutorial let's just go ahead and make a real quick sprite an item sprite I'm just going to pause the video until I make it. Well, actually, I can't pause the video. This okay. Each each image inside here is going to be a different item, so don't make this item have a looping image. I'm just letting you know. Okay, now I'm going to just make the, uh, some a few items real fast. Like I said, make sure they're different items. Like I said, all I done was made two items: a sword and a potion. We're setting this up for the next tutorial, so yeah. Now let's go ahead and make a new object. Call this obj underscore item. Okay, add, give it that same sprite, add the create event, go to the control panel, add some code into it. Inside the create event's code, type in image underscore speed equals zero. So that way the, this uh, sprite will not animate. So now that we have that, let's go make it where when you press enter, if you're colliding with a the player, then you will it will destroy the item. Just to the next video, we'll make it where it gives you an item. So make it where you press enter, add some code into that event. Type in, let's say, if distance underscore to underscore, uh, underscore object obj underscore player is equal to zero instance underscore destroy. Now, <laughs> let's go ahead and add that object into the game. Also, something else, never mind. Uh, we will do that in the next uh, video. Go test this out. Like right, now, you have where it destroys the items. Now, in the next tutorial, I am going to show you how to make an inventory because I can only make a ten-minute video. So yeah, I'm cutting my time short right now. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and rate. I will. Try I also rely heavily on requests for videos. So if you have any requests or anything you need help on with Game Maker or scripting. Just tell me and I will try to make a tutorial for it ASAP. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.